Hi everyone, anyone who wants to, I don't know, play more Dark Parable 5, the final Cinderella, maybe, right? Of course you want. Of course you want. Well, I want, so I'm gonna do it. I want to play it. And last time we chopped down this lovely vine here. And we're going over here. And, well, we found Catherine, but I don't think that is Catherine. She's really weird. What is this? Oh, hello! With the proper flowers, these spirit flower spirits might be persuaded to move these branches aside. <gasps> I want the blue one! The blue one! It's like a water spirit! I'm a water person. <gasps> it's a Cinderella! It's Bianca Pace, the fourth Cinderella. There's this thought. Wow, they're also, like, adorable. Oh! <laughs> uh, Oh, she's the floral one. Okay, here you go. I don't have any more. I'm sorry. Okay, that, that, that was them. I have no idea what my, my microphone is totally wacko and making me sound really echoey in some way. I have no idea what's happening. Wooden trinkar, and I hate it. I'm trying to do something. Whoa! -ho! Oh my goodness. Ball of twain. Oh. Hello. These glowing fireflies might come in handy. Do I have any pouches to capture them with? No, because we don't do that to the poor wildlife. Uh, wood carver. There you go. Um, I want that. <laughs> I want the pumpkin eyes. These sinister blood red markings tell us that the woodlogs are cursed. And that's what they made the wooden giant from, right? Let's give the pumpkin his eyes and see if it's done then. He was done! And here's the other glass slipper and a parable piece. Handmaidens of the maiden goddess, two out of four. I can barely make out these words on the letter. Sorry, I promise I'll be good from now on. Who? Pinocchio? I'm just going to Pinocchio all the time, but. Okay, let's give the glass slippers to the fake Catherine. Hello, fake Catherine. Ah, you are so... the glass slippers. You are so fake. Bravo, detective. Bravo. I knew you would be a great help to me. That's what I told you. <laughs> now, it's time you take a little nap. Oh, the gometer is making like puppets? Maybe Pinocchio is a puppet of her son? Oh, there's Pinocchio. Okay, we're in chapter 5 and we seem to be in the cottage. We are picking up this lovely wooden stick. This looks like a model of a glass slipper, which godmother uses to test to see if a girl is Cinderella. That is a parable piece. Handmaidens of the Maiden Goddess, 3 out of 4. This desk is being used as a storage area. Many books and knickknacks are piled in and around it. These toys are simple but carved with care. Did the woodcarver create them for Pinocchio? And the door to the cottage is locked from the inside. Where's its key? From the oh, oh, okay. We are well. We are on the inside, so. Okay. The evil godmother trapped us here. I have no idea where we are. Honest. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Pinocchio. Before I fainted, I saw the beast. It must have locked me in here under the evil godmother's orders. Okay, well. You can see. Find a way out of the cottage by convincing Pinocchio to help. I can see that you're lying there, dude. Okay, we are getting a wooden cat. I prefer the real, real blood and flesh cats, actually. I don't have my baby in here with me, but she's here somewhere. Here somewhere in the house or outside. Maybe. She's usually here when I sit here because then you know she can jump up on the 
Gus can totally be in the way, so that I will pet her. Uh, two pieces left. Where are they? Where are you, pieces? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Well, that thing. Oh my goodness. Oh my. <laughs> Oh, I'm not gonna find it. Oh, I'm so, <laughs> I'm so negative. There you are. Whoops, I found it. It was upside down. Oh, wooden mouse and wooden cat, right? Oh, what door? Um, we'll go up first. Hello, where are you? You are a fire emblem. Okay. What's hiding under the bed? I should find a cleaning tool to sweep out the mess. Oh wow, we're gonna be cleaning. <gasps> it's Xian Mao, the third Cinderella. Here you go. Oh, that was your oriental headpiece. The th we have found- well, we've seen all the first four Cinderellas now, right? Are these Pinocchio's toys? He's still a child at heart. Still? <laughs> what do you mean, still? Is he grown up? Pinocchio is as almost a, as good a woodcarver as his dad ever was. How do we know that? What is this random information we suddenly have that I don't know about? What? Oh, here they are. Cats and mouse. Here we go. Hello. You're a wooden doll head. You? R A I don't know what you were. <laughs> a clothing, maybe? Who built this fire and piled the firewood here? Was it this wooden cottage's owner? The pair of figures embellishing the mirror frame has disappeared. Uh the stick fire room, I don't know. Ba -ba -ba -ba. From the cooking utensils to the pots and pans, everything is made of wood. Wow, there's a lot of wood here. If you didn't notice. Because I did. And I'm proud. All the food in this kitchen is made of wood. How curious. Before I fainted, I saw the yeah, beast. Yeah, 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 yeah. It must yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so... Nope, that was totally wrong. We are... To oh, I'm totally missing something in here. Okay. Well, what is dick? No, 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 no. Um... What am I missing? Oh! Okay. Ta-da! And I had wallow twine. Okay, cool. Thank you for that broom. Now, well, I used to have a broom frying license, but for some reason, the witch's council keeps taking it away from me. Oh look, we have family picture evidence. Now we have castle emblem. Godmother's figurine looks lonely. A figurine of her husband is just what she needs. Oh, is that Godmother? How do we know that? How do we know all these random things? I don't know, but okay. Judging from the hardness of the mattress, it's, it is made of wood. Is this Pinocchio's bed? He wouldn't technically feel anything, so probably. Oh, here. I miss my dad a lot. But I'm never going to see him again. Oh. I wish Dad would come back. Even though I'm just a puppet, he always treated me as if I were a real boy. Okay, so has he always been a puppet, or is he like a puppet of somebody? I don't know. He's lying so much. Um, Castle Emblem. 
I don't know what to do. And we're oh my oh, okay. My bad. We're getting the wood carver figurine. That is the husband, I would think. Let's get that wood carver figurine. Oh, he's got some, like, chisel and stuff. Um, and the last thing. There was a little shield. He's not a shield, but, you know. We got the woodcarver figurine. Oh, he's so cute! With these little ruffles there. Let's place him with the godmother figurine, which we apparently know is a godmother. Oh, hello, puzzle! It's one of these again! Hello? I'm guessing Godmother was good from the beginning. Of course. Here we go. Oh, no, no. Stay there. Oh, I just- I just realized how I messed it up! Well, I was almost there. This is the photo of them all. This is a rotating one. Well, so Godmother became evil because she wanted her love back. It's a bit like, um... Uh, uh, Dark Parables 3. The Snow Queen. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, I just flipped it all around because I was looking at other things. Okay. There we go. There's the family. Okay, so Pinocchio's always been. It's always been uh, wood. Pinocchio, your father died because of you. If you want to save him, find me Cinderella. Her soul, together with the power of the soul necklace, might be enough to revive him. Your mother Amelia. From this letter, it appears the godmother blames Pinocchio for his father's death. It does seem like that, doesn't it? Oh, Pinocchio, that's why you're trying to help me, you little bastard. Yep, you've guessed it. I've been helping the evil godmother. She wants to sacrifice Cinderella to revive my dad. Pinocchio said that he missed his father a lot. Is there anything I can give him to comfort him? Like... Uh, I don't know. My mother, the evil godmother, is obsessed with reviving dad. She doesn't care about me anymore. Poor Pinocchio. You want a doll head? Nope. Oh, here. Okay. Ooh, we got the locomotive. Here we go. A little parable. One out of four, Geppetto and Pinocchio. Dear Pinocchio, I have always been proud to call you my son. My hope is for you to be the honest and kind boy that I know you are deep down. Don't blame yourself for my death. And take care of your mother for me. Love, Dad. No. Well, he isn't evil. He's just freaking godmother. Amelia is evil. Here you go. This letter is from my father. He's always believed that I'm a kind and honest boy at heart. I can't believe it. Listen, we must stop my mother. My dad wouldn't want Cinderella to be sacrificed for his revival. No. Nope. Here's the key to my cottage. Let's go save your friend and stop my mother. I knew it. She was Listen, his mother. we must stop my mother. Okay, okay, my okay. Dad... Let's get out of here. Detective, <gasps> look! <gasps> Let go of me! We've got to go save that girl. She might be Cinderella. Let's hurry to the castle, now! Chapter 6! 
I like how Pinocchio is like wooden, but his cheeks still move, right? Let's see if there's anything here. I don't think so. Alright, how do we oh yes, we get in Haha! -ha. We're getting into your castle. Na 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 Hello castle. Uh just trying to take it all in. What is this? This is a brush. Cool. Two insect shaped decorations on this bronze chest are gone. Okay, a scene. Glass crown. There's a lot of wood and glass going on here. I'm just saying. Okay, so where are those thingies? Um, okay there, okay, I didn't think you could click on them. <laughs> Oops. Mm. There. The last one, I don't know. Okay there. Oh. Alright, we have a glass crown. So if I say that faster, I'm going to say it wrong. Whoa, did you see that? That just changed. First object. Oh, there's a uh, parable. We have all the parables for the maiden goddess. Forbidden to directly interfere with the mortal world. The maiden goddess decided to choose a pure-hearted maiden with magical powers to act as her handmaiden. Upon her handmaiden, she bestowed the power to detect Cinderella's and gave her the magic glass wand. With this powerful magical tool, the handmaiden could wield powerful magic. The handmaiden's primary duty is to seek out and aid Cinderella's. In time, her good deeds were known to all, and she came to be called Godmother. Oops. After the first godmother died, the maiden goddess chose another to take her place. Thus, the tradition has carried on to the present day. Oh, okay, okay. So there have been... No, wait, 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 wait. The handmaiden's... Pr oh, the handmaiden. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I thought the goddess was godmother. The handmaiden. I see. I see the handmaiden. Okay. After the first, okay. each handmaiden expressed their magic in different ways. For example, one godmother was skilled at dressmaking, so she liked to imbue her magic in the clothes she made. When the maiden goddess saw that the latest godmother had turned evil, she took away the godmother's powers and confiscated the magic glass wand. That is right. And her disappointment at her handmaiden's betrayal. The maiden goddess vowed never to pick another handmaiden again. Oops. Alright, so that's where godmothers come from, right? So we know that. We have the Forbidden Grove left, Evil Godmother, and Geppetto and Pinocchio. Oh, look at him. So cute. Alright. We are done here because to rescue the gear, I should examine the other part of this fireplace to find a way to lift the bars. One other part of the fireplace. Okay. Okay, so we can go forward or left, but uh left. Oh hello, you're a puppet. This is the sewing machine. The cylinder of purple thread has been removed from the sewing sewing machine. Okay, so I gotta put it back, I guess. There is something. It is a goddess's tears. Godmother's diary tells of her worries about Geppetto's mind being corrupted by the evil trees. And why is that Pinocchio's fault? On the table are spools of thread. Other dressmaking tools are scattered around this room. Some of these paintings feature the previous Cinderella's whom Godmother helped. Love can make us all blind. Oh, another evil Godmother parable. Please, three out of four. 
Combine magic orb with crystal heart, goddess's tears, lightning essence to form orb that dispels magic. I'm up for that. Placing the right magic orb in the middle is the key to using this magical device. Uh, let's do the scene and then we will break. Brass blowtorch. Oh, cool. We're getting some firepower. Awesome. I don't know why, what we're burning, but it's gonna be awesome. When we were another, I need some screws. I see them there, and um, yeah, some other stuff basically. Um, there we go. And something more. It kind of looks like a hook. There we go. We got a brass blowtorch! That is awesome! Can we... No. Okay. Then I have no ideas, but... We're gonna break here. Next time we're going into the green room. Or whatever it is. So... You know, that was it for uh, episode 4. Hope I'm, you know, saying it right. Um... We got Pinocchio's story, we got Godmother's, part of Godmother's story, and we got into the castle, right? So, that is cool. Um, sorry, my... Whoa. Awkward. Um, you know, thank you all for watching, sharing, I hope you're really enjoying the game because it's amazing, right? So happy to be playing it. And I will see you later for, you know, more Dark Parables 5, the final Cinderella.